All right, as I was saying, um, this light box, this uh, switch box that I made, um, I got this box from uh, Radio Shack. I cut all these hoes. This circuit board that's in there with all these little buttons. Um, cool story about those. So, like I was just telling you, um, I found DJ lights and uh, I mounted them to the top of my car. So basically what I did was, um, that circuit board was in there, was actually mounted in the housing of the whole um, um, light bar, like the party light bar or whatever, right? And so what I did was I opened up the whole housing, I, I found this um, circuit board with, with all these buttons and stuff, and that allows you to change the colors, um, the patterns, like if you wanted to strobe or change colors. Um, so what I did was, and there was only about two inches of wiring um, on both sides of this board. So what I did was I clipped it, I spliced it, I made the cables longer, um, the, uh, the power, um, I had to run the power cable through that. So I had, it was probably like five or six cables per light like per light bar so I probably had like 10 to 12 uh, wires running through the top of my car I drilled a hole ran it through the inside of my car and into that light box um, thinking outside the box you got to do these things you know like it makes you different and it, 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 get, it makes other people's heads turn and, and be like man this guy is doing crazy things man this guy is doing awesome things now um, let me get back to the uh, the amber lights that I was just showing you I'll show you once again you can see those in my back glass I got them mounted on the inside of my vehicles I got tinted uh, glass um, on the outside so if you're driving up behind me you're not gonna see them until I turn them on pretty cool right well the tint kinda dims them way down they're not very bright but if I was ever in a situation which I have been many times where um, I'll be driving and on the side of the road I'll see somebody has gotten into an accident or somebody just got into an accident and they might there might be somebody in distress uh, I'll pull over in a safe area uh, further back from where the uh, accident or whatever took place and I'll open up my back glass and um, I'll turn on the amber lights and I'll wait for the police to come and uh, sometimes I'll get the police to, they'll approach me and they'll give me one of these like alright cool thanks for holding it down like diverting traffic away from the incident you know the, the area uh, sometimes they're they're really cool about it they're like alright cool thank you um, you can go on your way now and I'm like alright cool and I go about my day um, other times um, they'll ask me who are you what are you what are you doing the, whose car is that that's yours and I'm like yeah I'm just I'm just a regular civilian I just want to help out you know and uh, one time I saw this girl poor girl she was she was coming down from like Buffalo University. She was going down, um, traveling south to her home and her family in Long Island and she wiped out on the side of the road. Like she messed up her car hardcore. And um, I pulled over, actually I passed her. I had to get off in the next exit, come back north, loop around and when I got to her, I, you know, got into rescue mode you know I don't have a background in um, like paramedics or EMS firefighting or law enforcement I don't really have these things in my background but like I just want to help you can't knock me for trying to help you know this this poor girl she could have been injured severely uh, she she could have she could have needed a helping hand you know like that's what I'm all about lending a helping hand trying to help somebody in need uh, whether or not they need it or not you know like you don't know she could have that accident looked so bad like she wiped out 
she got in the ditches, hit a tree or maybe a couple of trees, and I was like, whoa! She, my help could have been very useful to her, who knows. Uh, maybe she had a dead, a dead cell phone and I could have lent her my cell phone. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's why I have those lights. Um, practicality and efficiency. Let's say I get into an accident myself. Maybe it's just a flat tire and I want, I'm on this highway where the, 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 the speed limit's like 70, 75. Um, and people are zooming by me like crazy. Now, if I had the hazard lights on, there's people that would probably ignore it, but they have some bright, crazy uh, amber lights, strobe lights, flashing in front of them. They're going to pump the brakes and chill out, you know, because this might be something serious. Who knows? That's why I have these things. Practicality and efficiency. That's, that's what I'm stressing here. I hope you guys uh, find this information useful. Hopefully you guys start to embody this uh, characteristic that I find very valuable in my life. You know, um, just, you know, it doesn't take, it doesn't take much to just think about things before they can actually happen to you. And next thing you know, you find yourself in a very unfortunate situation. It does uh, offer a lot of ease to your, your situation if you know that you're already prepared for this and that you can be in and out of it fast and quick, you know? So why not? It doesn't hurt, you know? You might, you might spend some money here and there, you know, preparing for these things, but it's a good thing. It's a very good thing. So anyway, that's my talk for you guys today. Um, my lecture, if you will. Um, I don't want to lecture you guys, but you know, I just, for me, hopefully this relationship between us, me and all of you people, um, hopefully it doesn't feel like me lecturing you people. Maybe, you know, I'm just planting a seed and you guys are like, hell yeah, Cam. Thanks for that. Thanks for that bit of advice. Well, anyway, peeps, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. I hope you all have a great evening and rock on. Peace.